Hey guys, what's up? Um, okay, so on the last episode, we um, finished off Monstro, and we obtained uh, an item called Water Gleam. Oh, <coughs> sorry, Water Gleam. And um, uh, now we are here in this magician study to figure out what the Water Gleam Summon actually does, so let's take a look at this. Alright, so let's talk to this person. What can we get out of Water Gleam? Dumbo! Alright, so what Dumbo does is when you summon him, you get to ride around on his back, and uh, basically he shoots water at everything and pushes it away, and I think you can also damage uh, them, and he might release some HP orbs, but I am not sure. Um, but it doesn't really matter because probably not going to be using him that much. Um, but anyway, we're going to warp to... We're going to warp. I hope I don't... Alright, you know what, I'm, we're going to be driving to this place, so um, I guess I will just edit this out, and I'll meet you guys there. So, uh, editing... Uh, alright, so here we are, in the new place. Um, looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? I think I think it's probably one of the best, uh, best world model things that there is, if not the best. Because it does look pretty nifty, but anyway, let's uh, disembark here. Yeah, and that was it. Donald's advanced magic. He can do stuff you haven't even dreamed of. It's intense. <laughs> this has got to be one of the greatest character models ever. Goofy turtle Come form. On, Sebastian. Ariel, wait! Slow down! Don't leave me behind! <laughs> <laughs> Relax, Sebastian. They don't look like one of them. Right, Flounder? I don't know. There's something weird about them. Gee. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Mm, they do seem... a little different. Where are you from? Uh, we're from kind of far away. And we're not really used to these waters. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Awkward laugh. No, I see. In that case... Sebastian can show you how we swim around here. Ariel! King Triton will not like this! Oh, don't worry. Okay, so here we get a new game mechanic, which is swimming. Um, this whole area, this whole world is underwater, actually, and, um... So basically, you press circle to go up, and then square to go down. Um, I... I I don't know, but you're not really going to be using that much. Well, if, if you do what what I think for what... Who am I supposed to see? Flounder? Wait. Am I supposed to find Flounder? Okay, I completely, like, zoned out during that, and I really... I really did not... Oh, the Flounder. Okay. Uh, basically, if you... And with the combat in this area, it's a little bit weird, because, um... You know, you got the... Where... This is annoying! Where is... Oh, there he is. Okay. Um... Basically, the combat in this area, it helps a lot if you lock on. So basically, if you see a heart, Heartless and you lock onto them, it'll automatically swoop towards them, whether they be higher than you or lower than you. And, um... If you don't use lock on in this area, it's gonna be a real pain in the ass, so... Yeah, I just suggest using lock on. And how many times do we have to catch this little freak. Where is he? Above us? Yes, he is. That's where I thought he was the first time. 
Oh my god. I'm not here to play... Catch the fish. Good job! No, let's move on to self-defense! Sebastian! Eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> it's cool looking heartless though. <laughs> nice zoom in on Sora's side boob there. Okie doke, so here's our first um, first shot in a big combat system underwater. And surprisingly, it's not that bad. Um, you know, I do prefer land combat, but um, it's really not that bad for... I mean, the whole concept of this world is actually pretty interesting, like... I'm I'm surprised that uh they were able to you know make it work so well. I don't know, maybe I'm just biased because like I really I don't know. I like the mechanics of swimming and I like later on you're gonna see the flying mechanics, but I I, I really like this world, it's one of my one of my favorites. Uh okay, so you gotta hit this clam to get them to come out. Oh we gotta examine it. Okay, I tried hitting it before, stupid game. I like how they like stare at the save point like they've never seen one before. Okay, so basically, uh, you put Ariel in your party? Uh, I guess I will. Why not? Um, actually, you know what? We'll give Goofy the the shaft here because uh we had we didn't get rid of him last time so um let me save real quick um, 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 um what else is there to say about this world um it's kind of easy to get lost because like a lot of the place looks i don't want to say it looks the same but it, it's just it's kind of disorienting so the easiest way is to follow these tritons in the world here like ariel said and another thing they said they were chased here by those heartless that doesn't make sense to me, because when they got to us, they were like, Oh, hey, look at these guys, they're weird. They weren't even like... Here we have a formal introduction to the world, it's called Atlantica. But, uh, yeah, so... We keep following these tritons here. There's a whole... butt-ton of, like, items here. Um, there's a torn page, I don't think it's here, I think... There's a torn page later in this world, so you want to make sure you pick that up soon. Alrighty. I like how Ariel, like, Ariel fights weird in this. She sounds weird too, she sounds like a bird or something, like, Okay, um, I actually do the, the music in this is just, I love the music in this. I don't know why I like this world so much, like, it, it, I'd expect myself to not like this world just because it's, like, different than all the rest of them, but I actually really like this. Uh, if you open up these clams, you can get items like Mega Ethers. Instead of chests, there's uh, clams in this, and I think hitting certain ones with fire, or like... Yeah, so like hitting it with fire and stuff is like what you gotta do. Fire! I think it's, yeah, it's fire because it's red. Of course, <laughs> why not? Let me have... Thank you. More Mithril Shards, I swear, we must have so many Mithril Shards. I, I really, I should check just how many Mithril Shards we have, because we have a, like, we, just like every time I open a chest, we're like, say, oh, look, an item, it's just a Mithril Shard. Nothing even interesting. Oh, yeah, something I did pick up a long, this was a long time ago, it's not even really relevant anymore, but, uh, I did pick up, a uh, in the, in the treasure room of, uh, Agrabah, I picked up a defense up, I think. But like the power had shorted out my game or something like that, so I had to go back and do the Jafar fight over. But uh, I didn't do that on camera because I'd already caught, captured it on camera the day before. But um, yeah, I did that and I got defense up. So I guess you can grab the defense up if you're in the treasure room. Probably put an annotation in the, in the video. I'll do it if I remember. So uh, keep following this. There's a tide right there. I if you swim into this until we get an ability later. You can't fight the current, so might as well just let it take you. Oh no! No 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 no! Dang it! I was supposed to go in there. Like that is such that is so mean. Like 
game programming there, just to make you have to go all the way around if you mess up. Um, and I'm wondering, these things, I guess they're supposed to be jellyfish. They look cool though. I'm also wondering how you can shoot fire, fire magic, underwater. I don't understand that either. Uh, okay, so let's whack this. Open this. Uh, okay. Maybe you can't... Hurry up and kill the Heartless! Oh hey, there's an item here. Cross gen. Uh, another thing I could mention, um... Goofy actually has an ability right now called Lucky Chance. And, um, if you want to, it, you can, like, equip that to him. And, um, it increases the drop rate percent chance, like, of certain items. So, like, or just, like, all items on Heartless. So, if you're gonna be, if you know you're gonna be farming for, uh, for, you know, ingredients for, like, the Ultima weapon or something, then, um, you might want to go ahead and equip that early on so you can pick up the maximum amount possible. Uh, okay, so, since I messed up, let's go back down here. Alright, so, you're gonna want to hug the, hug the right wall here, so you can go in here, where you're supposed to go. Oh gosh, more of these seeker things. Still haven't figured out what these things are called. Like, legitimately called. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, if you go in, careful about going into this thing right here. Uh, this is, it might put you into a new area. Into a new, let me go up. Yeah, 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 that puts you out into a different area, so you don't, you want to try and avoid that for right now. Later on we're going to be going in there, but for right now, no. I do like the I like the character models in this world, like Donald and Goofy. Looks pretty cool. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this time while fighting the Heartless. To, um. When you guys watch my Let's Plays, um, I'm pretty sure you guys have like comments on what I can do better. Like you find, like you'll be watching, you'll be like, "Oh, that's irritating. Wish you didn't do that." Or, you know, I wish, wish he enunciated more. Or whatever. Just if you have thoughts like that, like, don't keep them to yourself, I, I like, I, this is my very first Let's Play, like I said, and I, I like to learn from, you know, my mistakes, and I like to make my videos better, and the only way I can do that is from, like, you know, feedback from you guys, uh, under Secret World, yes, so, um, make sure you can, make sure you guys leave comments, um, you know, even if it's just, like, well, try not to make it, like, you suck, because, like, I can't get anything out of that, I mean, it might be funny. I, I probably get a whole bunch of comments not saying you suck, but uh, try not to sit, not, try not to like you know just put you suck. Try and actually tell me like why, why do you think I suck? Actually, wait, is this the undersea gorge? Okay, so this place has a ton of items. Wait, this is the right place. This place is really barren. To be honest with you, uh, I think actually the place that has all the items and the porn pages after this next cutscene up here. Um, yeah, I think it is. Dang it! I just realized we are gonna, like, die soon. Okay. Just take care of these jellyfish. These jelly hearts. I <laughs> guess you could call them. I need to look up the real names for these. I keep saying that for, like, all these heartless, and I just... Well, I hate these... Okay, these things... I call them, uh, well, actually, I don't call them anything. I was gonna make up, like, a creative name on the spot, and I just kind of failed. So, uh, these things are really annoying, because they take, they're actually pretty powerful, and, oh my gosh, Ariel, way to go. Um, anyways, um, those things are really annoying. You, I know you have to, there's a certain recipe, or not a certain recipe, but a certain ingredient that, I think they drop it. They drop, they drop some ingredient, and uh, it's like I really, you really have to like farm for it later on. So, oh my gosh, he's like, look at him, he's strafing like a boss. Die, thank you. And delicious, nutritious HP. Um, here if you hit this clam with uh, thunder magic, should open. It's yellow. Yep. Got a little color, and it's a mithril shark. Uh, once again, proving my point. Uh, that is always mithril shark. You see, uh, Triton Palace there in the background. I think it's what it's called, Triton Palace. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, you see Triton Palace there in the background. And that is our destination. So. 
As long as I have my trident, I will not tolerate those creatures inside this palace. Daddy? Oh, Ariel, when will you listen? It's dangerous out there. Um. Strange creatures lurk outside. <coughs> Behold, you swim before the ruler of the seas. His Majesty, King Triton! And who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. Mm, they don't look familiar. We're from an ocean very far away. Yup, yup, we came to find the keyhole. The what? What's that? Yup, well, it's a... There's no such thing, certainly not here. But Daddy... Ariel, not another word. You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? Oh, perhaps I'm being too strict. I'm just concerned for her safety. Of course, Your Majesty. But I must admit, now I'm quite curious about this keyhole. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to report? Just as you suspected, Your Majesty, they seem to be coming from Ursula's grotto. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no good again. I see exile from the palace has taught her nothing. Yes, she poses serious danger. And I told you to keep Ariel away from such danger, did I not? Your Majesty, please, I... 